One of the officers did comment on me walking in the room. What did he say? He got back in the recline chair and he relaxed and he was like, and he said, that's who I thought it was. And what did you take that to mean? I took that to mean that he was pointing at me for what, uh, what I am, my race, and he took it. He took it at me because I was a, um, I was just a student that I never, I never had any contact with him. I never talked. Alia, uh, when did you, uh, when did the parents and you find out about what had happened to Ahmed? Um, so the parents found out when they finally did contact him. Uh, his parents when they were in the jail, when they were at the police station there in Irving. Um, so they finally contacted the parents, even though Ahmed had repeatedly um, asked for them to get his parents involved, and they repeatedly refused until once at the police station, his family, his mother and his father and his sister went up there. Um, some of the, the pictures that are circulating on social media are thanks to his uh, sister's quick thinking. Um, she took some pictures, she recorded some information, which was really helpful. Um, after that, in the evening time, uh, we were notified about the case situation and then met with the family the following morning to get the details of what had happened. Uh, Ahmed was just talking about having been called a terrorist before just in school. Can you give us a little context of um, sort of what life for folks in the Islamic community around Dallas-Fort Worth is like, uh, particularly in Irving? Um, well, in the North Texas area, I mean, we've, especially in 2015, we've seen our fair share of uh, increases in hate crimes and, uh, you know, negative sentiments towards the Muslim community. Uh, but this is something, frankly, that's happening across the nation. So Ahmed's story is unfortunately not uncommon. Um, it's something that we're seeing repeated in schools across the country, in jobs across the country, a lot of employment discrimination we're seeing. Uh, but in Irving in particular, we're concerned because there has been recently a very negative climate uh, in, in focus comparing to the uh, Muslim community. And so we have uh, made con had concerns, excuse me, uh, that some of this sentiment, some of this is a result of that growing negative sentiment in Irving from recent events. Ahmed, um, I'm sure you have seen throughout the day this outpouring of support for you uh, from all over the place. Um, Hillary Clinton said, assumptions and fear don't keep us safe, they hold us back. Ahmed, stay curious and keep building. Mark Zuckerberg said you can visit Facebook. The President of the United States said, cool clock, Ahmed. Want to bring it to the White House? We should inspire more kids like you to like science. It's what makes America great. How do you feel about this tremendous outpouring of support? Um. I feel really well after, because before I didn't think I was going to get any support because I'm a Muslim boy. So I thought I was just going to be another victim of injustice. But thanks to all my supporters on social media, I got this far thanks to you guys. Have there and been... the way I see it is... Continue, sorry. I see it as a, as a way of people sending a message to the rest of the world that just because something happens to you because of who you are, no matter what you do, we'll always have your back. And has that been true of the kids in your school, friends and folks like that? Have you been getting some support locally as well? Yes, I've been getting a lot of support locally. <laughs> Irving, Texas. That, that's great. Hey, listen, <laughs> Overwhelming. I, I want to I yeah. bring in someone else who's voiced their support for Ahmed, uh, Dr. Shonda Prescott-Weinstein, an astrophysicist at MIT, uh, which Ahmed call, has called his dream school. Um, doctor, you're there. Uh, <laughs> anything you want to say to Ahmed about uh, MIT and, and, and what kind of place it would be should he want to check you out there? So, Ahmed, I'm so happy that um, you're coming out on top. And I just want to say, by the way, you are my ideal student. A creative, independent thinker like you is the kind of person who should be becoming a physicist. As a theoretical physicist, I would love it if you took an interest in the mathematical side, although you're clearly very adept with your hands <laughs> and at building things. So I hope, I hope you'll think about theoretical physics. 
if there's any possibility that you can come visit us at MIT, I would love to give you a tour of the Center for Theoretical Physics and the Kavli Institute for Astrophysics. And I'm hearing from my former advisors at Harvard College that they would love for you to come to the Center for Astrophysics, the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. So I really hope that you'll come visit us in Cambridge. It would be fantastic to have you. You are the kind of student that we want at places like MIT and Harvard. <laughs> Ahmed, you're gonna get, I, obviously it's a plane flight and such, but maybe you can go check it out. I know it's early for college, you're only 14, but you know, these, these things start early these days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a fact right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ahmed Mohammed, Alia Salem, and Shonda Prescott-Weinstein. Um, thank you all for being here. And Ahmed, um, there are a lot of people that have your back and a lot of people uh, looking out for you. And uh, thank you for coming on. And you're a remarkably, remarkably poised young man. Thank you. Thanks for having us.